Hello! Here at Stampin' Up! our most favorite thing is awesome quality product. And our second favorite thing is showing you a bunch of different ways how to use it. So today I'm here to show you the mini treat bag thinlets die set. It's this amazing set of 12 dies and it makes this cute little treat bag that I'm going to show you today. Normally what you do is just cut these two pieces from regular paper, whatever kind you want to use, and it looks something like this. When you cut it out with your Big Shot, it actually does all the scoring for you, so the pieces kind of look like this. And it comes together this way. You just glue on the side, and then this little flap goes behind so that you have a cute little treat bag. Here's a finished one so you can see what it's like. Now what I wanted to show you today is different because I'm just going to use the little piece. And I'm going to cut two of those and just make a cute little skinny treat bag. So here are my two that I've cut. And again, it does the scoring for you, so you would have a score line here and here. In both of those places you would want adhesive. And then you could just bring the two together to make a cute little skinny treat holder. You could finish off the bottom with washi tape, fold it back to finish it off, and then you've got a place to slide a, a treat inside. There are a couple different ways you could finish off the front too. Let me show you a couple that I made. You can see two different versions here. On the back of each one, here's the little flap where I glued it shut. And then on this one, I just left it straight on the on front and back, so the front and back are the same height, and that's adorable. And then on this one, I just scored the front piece, so it folded down here, and that way you get the peak of the cute coordinating designer paper. What a fun new way to use those mini treat bag thinlets. If you don't already have these, give your demonstrator a call to get a hold of them today. Hey, friends, you know what you should do? You should totally subscribe to the Stampin' Up! channel. It's a lot of fun. You get to learn stamping stuff. I think it's like, it's right in here somewhere.